So Google DeepMind have just introduced the new Alpha Fold 3, which they're claiming has at least a 50% improvement over any existing methods at the moment. This new AI model's purpose is to predict the structure and interactions of biomolecules like proteins, DNA, and RNA. This type of AI model has enormous potential to be a game changer in the medical space. So what can this model help with exactly, and how big of an improvement is this new generation? Let's take a look into this. So the third generation of AlphaFold has just released from Google DeepMind. It was all the way back in July of 2021 when AlphaFold 2 launched, and this AI model provided a large benefit to the biological science industry. And AlphaFold 2 was the result of two years of developing this system, which had the purpose of predicting protein structures as accurately and efficiently as possible. Cut to today, AlphaFold 3 has just released, and they're claiming some serious improvements on the previous generation. So how how much better is AlphaFold 3? Well, broadly, they claim that there's at least a 50% general improvement over the other existing methods at the moment. But as well as that, they do go into more depth on the specifics of where it has been improved. Some of these new improvements include over two times better accuracy for predicting protein antibody interactions, which is obviously far more than 50%. They say that AlphaFold 3 can now predict the structures of small molecule ligands, DNA, and RNA, which beats the previously specialist physics-based methods. So that's a lot of biological talk there, and unless you're specifically educated in this field, you're probably wondering what exactly are the benefits of all this. Well, the benefits come in a few ways that you would expect, like medicine, and in a few ways you wouldn't, because AlphaFold 2 was already a groundbreaking advancement, and it helped with research involving stuff like enzymes to break down and recycle plastics. So let's talk about why this is such a big deal, and then discuss the benefits that we will see from this technology. So here's my simplified explanation as a computer scientist and not a biologist. So proteins are essentially the building blocks of life. You can think of them as the biological nanomachines that drive all life processes, but figuring out how they fold into 3D shapes from linear chains has been an extremely difficult issue in the biology field. And Google DeepMind have been working on trying to help solve this issue with AlphaFold. And a real life example of this would be the COVID-19 pandemic, during which AlphaFold's predictions for the COVID protein achieved what they call atomic level accuracy, and that breakthrough was a representation of a huge leap forward that transformed areas like drug discovery and understanding diseases. And the easiest way to think about this is revealing these 3D structures is like someone giving you a really high quality and detailed biological instruction manual, so you know exactly what to do and how to do it. But that was then, and this is now, because now we have AlphaFold free. So so what can we actually expect to see from this AlphaFold 3? What is it going to help us do exactly? Well, there's a few main areas that we can think about. Like for example, a very obvious one would be drug discovery. This technology will allow us to rapidly accelerate the process of developing drugs. As again, if you think about the instruction manual, it's a lot easier to get something developed when you know how to do it. Then of course, there is just the general understanding of biological processes, helping our scientists to understand what's happening under the hood, so to speak, of human beings, on a level we just currently haven't got to at all. On top of that, another benefit could be designing enzymes, and that is something that we did actually see happen with AlphaFold 2, in regards to the recycling plastic side of things. AlphaFold 3 will also help us to develop bio-renewable materials, and this is obviously a big one in the current day and age, where the environment is a big concern on our radar, as we understand how much damage we are now doing to it every single day. So bio-renewable materials materials that won't hurt the environment any more than we already have. And then one you might not have expected, we can develop more resilient crops. So crops that are able to survive harsher conditions, which is especially important now in the climate change era, where in some parts of the world weather is going to be getting a lot harsher. And in turn, we have a much better chance of avoiding malnourishment across the world and ensuring that people are fed when the weather conditions inevitably get harsher than they are at the moment. So definitely a massive list of 
positives there, it really is hard to understate how much of a big deal this release actually is. And as I mentioned, I am in no way a biologist, and even to me, this is extremely exciting news to be hearing about. It feels like a glimpse into the future of biology. They say that AlphaFold 3 is the first AI system to surpass physics-based modeling tools for biomolecular prediction without structural inputs, if you can make heads or tails of that, but maybe focus on the point that it is the first to surpass physics-based methods, if not anything else there. So AlphaFold 3 is the only model of this kind to be anywhere near this powerful, and as it's only just now released, we've yet to see the real benefits of this, and we can only really guess what might come as a result. The things we talked about like crops and drugs being developed, it really won't be that long until we start seeing some benefits from this. Although when I do say not that long, you do need to remember this is a biological science timeline, and developing drugs and getting them through clinical trials is a very time lengthy process. But we all sort of knew that AI would accelerate our medical science, and it almost feels like this is our first window into the future of this reality. What we're now seeing is the start of this prediction coming into real life, in front of our very eyes. But do leave a comment as I'm interested to know what you guys think about this, and if you're still listening, I really appreciate you. Like and subscribe if you can, it really helps me out, and thanks for watching.